Hello everyone, welcome to our vlog. This is Mimi Guapa. This morning, we shall do another recording of our daily devotional reading series. We are reading from the book Our High Calling, written by Mrs. Ellen Goldwhite. We are creating these videos as an alternative for people who are always on the go and struggling to have a relationship with Jesus by having a quality time with Him and studying His words daily. So, we are uploading these videos ahead of time on YouTube so that you can listen to them on the day it was supposed to be listened to during your break time, your travel time, your downtime. Now, uh, your religious affiliations do not matter here as long as you are a Christian professing to want a closer relationship with Jesus. Well, these videos were created especially for you. So, let's get on with our reading for today. But before we do so, may I invite you to seek the Lord with me in prayer. Shall we pray? Our dear Almighty Father, we thank you so much for the gift of life that you have added in our lives. We thank you so much, dear God, that even though groggy and still sleepy, you wake us up, you woke us up and enabled us to take a bath to prepare for the work of the day. May you bless each one of us, Lord. May you guide us and anoint us with the power of the Holy Spirit, that we, our hearts and our minds will be opened as we study your word for the day, that our uh, mind that is behaving retardedly right now will be manifested to do good works and to do think good things and to function ably so that we can deliver the requirements of the day. God bless each one of us, Father. May you help the workers and leaders of the church, of our schools, of the nation, and of the world, that they'll be able to travel the path of righteousness towards you. Protect us from any harm and danger, Father, and we claim your promises of forgiveness once we confess our sins unto you. Help us in our predicaments, and that we entrust you our lives. This we ask, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The Home Training Ground September 13 Make me go in the path of thy commandments, for therein do I delight. Psalms chapter 119 verse 35 Men have thought that God's law has been done away. Were this the case, we would have no standard of character and would have nothing to show us God's righteousness claims. We should be adrift upon an ocean of uncertainty and have no guide in dealing with the solemn responsibilities of the family relation. But it is in the family relation that we receive our training in dealing with our fellow men in general. If God had no law by which to govern human intelligences, nothing by which his character could be represented as example to which the human family could shape their characters. Then, what impression could possibly be made upon our children as to what constitutes rectitude of life and perfection of character. The fifth commandment enjoins upon children obedience to their parents, and parents are to help their children to keep this commandment by acting their part in cooperating with God in requiring obedience through childhood and youth. Parents themselves must be under rule to God. They must reveal a precious traits of character, presenting a pattern before their children, manifesting patience and forbearance, mingled with firmness, and thus educate their children to obey their heavenly Father. Satan delights to look upon disordered and ill-governed families, for his success depends largely upon the control he can have over the families of earth. He is determined the standard of righteousness should not be the rule for the formation of the character. The Ten Commandments come forth from the love of heaven, whose guard is full of love, who is infinite in wisdom, 
who never makes a mistake. He is too wise to err, too good to harm anyone who will obey his requirements. Blessings will follow those who obey and who administer the law of Jehovah. The happiness and peace of parents and children in this life and their best good will be worked out by walking in the path of his precepts, for by so doing, they are in harmony with the God of heaven. The end for today's reading. Our devotional reading for today simply tells us that for the formation of character to be honed, it must start in the home, which is the training ground of everything. So I hope you have a good home, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, and that whatever you do, you may glorify the Lord. Thank you so much for watching and for listening in our devotional for today. May God bless you by leaving a like in this video, by leaving a comment, or sharing your thoughts, by sharing this to people whom you think will also be blessed by our message for today, and subscribing in our channel. Thank you, thank you so much. Adieu.